Hi Libra, it's Elle here to do your mid-May general reading. So it's a general reading. It will not resonate with every Libra who views the video, but if it does resonate with you, please like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel. It is much appreciated. Um, thank you to those who already do so. Let's go ahead and jump into this. Um, So for love, we have at the bottom of the deck, the messenger of air or the knight of swords, the six of air, six of swords, queen of water, queen of cups, messenger of earth, knight of pentacles, and the nine of fire or the nine of wands. So for some of you, this reads as there, there's someone who wants to offer you something, Libra. Uh, this could be a Cancer person, could be a Cancer Pisces Scorpio. This could be Gemini Libra Aquarius. They want to. They've made the choice to mentally, maybe even physically, return back to you. They come offering something stable, something that they maybe should have offered a long time ago. This was a. This is a long time coming. It looks like this person won't take no for an answer. They want to tell you exactly how they feel. They want to tell you their truth about how they look at things, how they look at the relationship. They may be looking in on you. If not looking in on you, they're definitely evaluating this situation from afar and saying, you know, it wasn't that bad or it isn't that bad we can get back or maybe it was that bad maybe I need to release it whichever way it goes it looks like it's, it looks like there's someone wanting to return um, and they want to return and probably make something you know a little bit more stable than what it was in the past Yeah, this, I mean, this is a person completely concerned with love, the giving and the receiving of. This could be you, Libra. This could be how you feel about someone else or vice versa. You want to return to someone or they want to return to you. There is a return here. Um, I'm moving closer to. There is separation with this nine. You guys are not together. You may not even be communicating. Or the communication is short. Let's see. We're going to clarify over at the website to see who this queen of water is. Is this you, Leaper? Or is this the other person? Uh, there might have been a breakup. And now someone is really filling the void. There might have been a lot of jealousy and arguments and trouble and just drama in the relationship and then you guys broke. It, it may have not even been a relationship where there was a, a significant title, you know, given to Libra or Libra, you know, given that to someone else. But now there is someone wanting to return with... Um, the spoken word of how they feel, their how they see things, their truth. And then the offer of, let's start something a little bit more stable, more solid. Let's be boyfriend and girlfriend. Let's move in together. Let's whatever. Um, in separation, this person has come to terms with who or what you are or what you mean to them. Okay. So let's jump into, well, for love, we pulled two angel answers. And it's big, happy changes. And we see that. Like somebody wants to return and 
like the situation's completely re changed. But it's not the right time. And maybe that's why this person, either you Libra or the other person, is evaluating the situation from afar. Then maybe they need to clear something up. They need to get their own life in order or they want to come with a real sure fire plan. It's just not the right time. Um, at the bottom of the deck, we have don't stop. Whatever it is you're doing, if you're manifesting, doing some candle magic, some whatever it is, keep doing it. Um, the energy is not going unnoticed. So let's jump into career and finance. At the bottom of the deck, we have the strength card. We have the star card. Ten of Swords. Five of Pentacles. Queen of Cups again. Death card. Career and finance. For some of you, this is a situation where um, something's completely over. It's ended. Your life may be shifting completely. Like, it's going to look completely different. But in the midst of it, or before it looks completely different, in a, in a blessed way, you need to be strong in dealing with the curveballs that maybe life is throwing you right now. Maybe feeling like there is lack or less than or maybe not as confident or shut out or woe is me or why is this happening to me. Really, this really has you emotional. Um, you could be dealing with a Scorpio too somehow, but this is just a situation where the labor has to go through to get to it has to end but there's healing restoration um, admiration even after this ending something could have been draining you financially or had you up and down on a roller coaster financially To where your emotions are tied to it. You, you aren't happy because the finances aren't there. The cards that put an ending. Or they're going to help you put an ending to one cycle. Go to another. But in the midst of that. You have to be strong. And knowing that healing and restoration is coming to you. Two cards that we pull were courage, as we see with the strength card. Yeah, be courageous in this. It, it's gonna. It. So, I've heard through when you're going through a time where there's gonna be complete transformation in your your life, whatever aspect that may be, maybe in every aspect of your life, career, finance, love, family, all of that stuff. Um so much upheaval happens like why did this happen this happen and that happen well it could be measured as or defined as a test a testing a trying of your faith of your courage of your strength right um, to see if you really trust if you have faith in yourself, in the universe, to, um, especially with some of you, manifesting newness, either in love, career, and finance. To help with the emotional upset, sometimes maybe financial discord will bring, you need to incorporate a new exercise program. Of course, it releases, uh, you know, the endorphins and all that um, serotonin I, don't get me to you know talking about all of that uh, the chemical um, makeup of the brain and 
all the different um you know chemicals that are released in, in in regards to new exercise program also this will help you feel better about yourself too you might even be getting more recognition here At the bottom of the deck, we have self-employment. So this definitely, maybe there's an ending to something that just didn't work out in regards to self-employment. Something that you were pouring your energy, effort, time, money into. And now there'll be a complete shift and ending here. We're going to clarify over at the website to see what the other side looks like. We know that we need to have courage and strength to get to the other side. But what does it look like for career and finance? Some of you are self-employed or you need to be moving towards. So let's see what that is. Some, for some of you, somebody's coming back. But not right now. It's not the right time. But there will be big happy changes for you too. Okay. Thank you, Libra, for tuning in. Meet me on the other side to see who this is coming back. What it looks like after maybe an end of a cycle in career and finance. Thank you. Know that to get the extended read is always two dollars. Go ahead and click the link below. Uh, know that I'm praying for you, Libra. Pray for me as well. Take care.